In this Learning Byte for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at joining client computers to the SPS environment. Here you can see I'm on a Windows 7 professional client PC that's not currently joined to a domain, so we're just in a work group. Let's go ahead and sign in to see the desktop. In order to join the SPS domain, I'm going to go ahead and start the Internet Explorer. And in the address bar, we'll enter in the name of the server and the connect page. This displays the link to the software that's needed to connect the computer to the SPS environment. The Connect Computer Wizard begins with a description of the steps that are going to be performed throughout the wizard, and then we'll begin a scan of the computer to make sure that all the prerequisite software is installed. Depending on the software that's installed on your PC, you may be prompted to reboot. Once the computer reboots, the wizard will continue and you can sign in to the SBS environment to continue the wizard. After joining the computer to the domain, we need to restart before we can continue the wizard. Once the PC reboots, the wizard continues. The next step is to decide whether or not you want to move your existing data and settings from your workgroup local profile into the new SBS domain joined profile. This is very helpful for maintaining a consistent working experience for your users and maintaining their business productivity. Next, we can enter in a description for the PC. And here we can determine whether or not to automatically wake this PC up in order to perform a backup if it's in sleep or hibernation mode. So one of the most highly anticipated features of SBS 2011 Essentials is the ability to backup client PCs to the SBS server. By default, all PCs that are joined to the SBS environment are configured for backup, and you can perform additional client PC backup configuration steps using the dashboard. For more information, I encourage you to check out our Learning Byte on that topic. And finally, you can choose whether or not to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program. At this point, the wizard finalizes the configuration for your PC. Once the wizard is complete, the final step is simply to log in to the network. At this point, you can also choose whether or not to open the dashboard to do server administration, but for most users, we'll go ahead and clear that checkbox. As you can see, the PC is now joined to the Contoso domain. After logging in, we can see that we have our familiar desktop environment, including our background image and the shortcuts on our desktop. We also have the new Launchpad, which provides a convenient way for users to interact with the SBS server. Again, for more information on the Launchpad, I encourage you to watch our Learning Byte video on that topic. So that's a quick look at joining client computers to the SBS environment. Thank you very much for watching this Learning Byte video, and I hope you'll join us for future videos.